Hey internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and I got my Wednesday wellness friend Dr. Derek Anderson on. Can you, can you hear me now? <laughs> I can hear you, good afternoon. Yes. We had some stuff going on. It might have been the snow maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy here the last couple days with all the snow we got on Monday. Yeah, I'm not used to that. I remember when I was a kid, I used to jump off the roof into the snow banks. But I haven't seen snow banks like that, but maybe it's because I'm... I'm bigger than I was when I was a little kid. <laughs> I know. I was, I was telling some of my uh, patients, too. I was talking to them and said, only snow that much can uh, um, bring me back to feeling like I was 10 years old again and wanted to go jump in those piles of snow. <laughs> well, I was horrible driving. I was literally probably two hours just on Hennepin going from uptown and getting on to 394 because there were semis, there were buses that were stuck sliding. They couldn't get up the hills. So anyways, that aside, good segue into snow because I wanted to ask you about the either precautionary or um, taking care of fixing people that have been shoveling snow. Isn't that something that chiropractors probably deal with? People throwing their back out? Yeah, we definitely see a lot of that. Uh, when, you know, when it snows like this, we get you know, a lot of patients are coming with two things. Either they slip and fall and they hurt their back or they hurt their back shoveling snow. Um, a lot of my patients over the last two days have been coming in, not so much in pain because we've been seeing them for so long, their, their spine is strong enough, but you know, they'll just be like, you know, I'm a little bit more sore today, a little more stiff and tight um, because yeah, they were using, the, um, they were shoveling a lot of snow over the last uh, few days. So, but that's something that could actually be really, really serious because you're lifting weight and you're turning at the same time. You could really screw yourself up. But do you, so do you suggest a preventative thing like, like, even though you're in a hurry and stuff trying to get out, you should uh, stretch or warm up a little bit before you. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a physical activity. And like you said, I mean, the, the main reason why, why most people hurt their back or, you know, throw their back out is with a lifting and twisting motion. And that's pretty much what you're doing when you're shoveling. And so, yeah, we always encourage people, you know, if, if you have the time to really, you know, stretch out your lower body, stretch out your lower back as much as you can before you start going out there. Just give a little bit of a warm up. But ultimately in the in the long scheme of things, it's really just making sure that you have a strong abdominal muscles and strong core and then strong glutes. And as much as you can when you're out there shoveling, utilize that. I talk to a lot of construction workers and people who do a lot of the heavy lifting for their jobs and just explain that like when you're going to lift something heavy, you're going to lift and twist, especially to like really contract your core and keep your core nice and strong. Because the, the more that you're using those muscles, the less that you're going to use your lower back. Sure. I suppose that yeah. kind of pulls the, the spine together so it stays tight. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, you have reciprocal processes that work within the muscles. The stronger that your abdominal muscles are, the stronger that your glutes are, the less your body has to use your hip flexors and your low back paraspinal muscles to use forces and to, you know, lift them. And so, yeah, we're always encouraging people to strengthen that as much as possible to, to keep them strong. So, again, um, time is a commodity that uh, we all have in common, and I don't want to do these too long, but this is a good message to get out. I'm assuming this is the same kind of thing in the summer months when you're raking and doing uh, landscaping and all that. Any kind of torsion and weightlifting kind of thing, right? Exactly. Anytime you're lifting, you know, like that's where a lot of people will hurt their backs is because they kind of don't, you know, instead of, you know, they always hear the old, the old saying, like, lift with your legs, not yeah. with your back, which is absolutely true. But, you know, primarily, like I said, with people who I do see who lift a lot for their job, is really trying to get them before you do any lifting, like, brace your core like someone's going to punch you right in the stomach brace that core so that you're utilizing those muscles because that's going to give you a lot more leverage and you're not going to use your lower back muscles as much and that's going to keep them away from you know um, straining or, or um, injuring those soft tissue around them. But with the shoveling of snow it's you almost can't really lift with your legs because you got to push forward and lean down to yep. get it so hmm. exactly so that's where your glutes come into play too is really squeezing your glutes and, and getting that to you know your butt muscles and trying to use those to get your there legs you go. instead of using <laughs> your lower back. <laughs> I, was, I, I always, like, I always <laughs> use the term abdominals and glutes, and 
I forget there's some people who don't really know what those are. <laughs> so you could uh, encourage your spouse, if you want to keep those buns tight, to go out and shovel a driveway, right? Men and women. <laughs> exactly. There you go. That's why I said spouse. It's kind of yeah, right? gender neutral. I don't want to get in any trouble here on the internet. Oh, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up to the cosmos. And again, if you would uh, synergistically collaborate and share it out to the world too, we'll get the, get the word out. And I'll even tag it on to like Minnetonka and stuff so that uh, some of the people around here can uh, come in and get tuned up by Dr. Derek Anderson. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Derek. Peace. Thank you. Have a good one.